A fair stage, not one you really want to watch. It was hit with a hammer and crushed in. We've got to use the same force to bring it back out again. And then we can start to do the finer points. If that's not enough, it's then prepared for the forge. Yeah, I'm going to get it red hot. So after bashing it about, you set it on fire. That's it. <laughs> Heating it up is to loosen up the molecules in the silver, making it easier to work with. Then it's washed and dropped into some acid, doing a reasonable impression of One Australia as it gurgles to the bottom. But unlike One Australia, the America's Cup will rise again from the depths to lead a useful life. For the next eight weeks, the craftsmen here at Garrard will be working on the more delicate phases of its restoration. Mark Sainsbury, One Network News. London. Time we saw the cup, it wasn't in great shape, and head silversmith Rod Hinkston was having to use brute force to even make a start. Two weeks later, he's made a lot of headway. So here it all is, all in pieces. Yes, all in pieces. So this has been uh, this has been repaired. Now I'm finished, just as a, as a little part of the unit. Um, this was all squashed in. I've got it to be all the same now which is good, that was, uh, that was a mess. And this was, wasn't very badly damaged at all, and it was just over to one side, and I've straightened that up now. So that's, this, is, this was just crushed in here. So that's an easy one to do. And the handle, there's still a little bit of this is curled over a bit more, I've got to bring that out a bit. So there's not, not much to do to that at all. So that's the easy one, it's just, just this piece and the replacement of that, of that collet that went on there. The largest piece of the cup suffered the most damage, and day after day, Rod's been tapping away to give it back its shape. Yes, it's, this was crushed in, and I've pulled, pulled this up now, and this, this was in as well, and there was some very heavy bruising and dents in the sides. Um, it was too thin on one spot, and it had to be cut away. I'll have to put a piece in there. It won't, it won't be recognisable when it's done. You just, just look at as, as, a, as it was, and then it'll be re-engraved afterwards, as, as all these are engraved. So, I mean, is it like, like panel beating a car? You put in some filler and sand it over? No, no, it's, it's finer than that. It's, you, you don't use uh, anything, it's just, the metal is, is either, so these pieces are soldered on or taken off and soldered back on, so that it is, as it was originally made, you don't, um, it's no, there's no filler put into it. So you have to beat the dents out again? Yes, yes. But even these master craftsmen couldn't rescue all the cup. So, Rod, what, what's the story here? Well, this was uh, the part of the collet that, this collet that went on, on here that was completely squashed. And, um, and, in, and in getting it out, it's, uh, as you can see, it's very thin and it's, um, and it's broken up. So the best thing was to, to make a new part for that, which, which is this here. This is now made. And um, Jeff the Chaser will put back in the shape that was, that was in there before. How do you recreate this? I mean, how do you get it to look like the original? Well, obviously, there's some information still left on that piece. It's not totally destroyed. But looking at the photos uh, there, I can see exactly what's going on with the cup. Um, and I can transform that on, onto the spinning here um, to, to transform this to the original cup. Now you've warmed this up too, haven't you? Yes, I've warmed that to uh, make the pitch a lot softer so that it gives it that give to transform it how I wish. And so you just tap away that till you get the shape that yes, you want? Yes, you just tap away and uh, transform the metal. And precious metal at that. When all the pieces are ready, Rod will glue them back together. The glue being silver solder. Now this is Steve Goldsmith, our master polisher at Garrard, restoring the piece of work now.
It has taken about 40 hours to restore the America's Cup to its former glory. officially handed back to its guardians at the Royal New Zealand Yacht Squadron. About 70 people gathered at the club today for a special lunch to welcome home the old mug. I didn't believe that they could restore it to the level that they have. The workmanship is just absolutely wonderful. And to thank the man who headed the restoration effort. Richard Jarvis is the managing director of Garrard's Jewellers, a London company which originally made the cup back in 1842. When he heard of the cup attack in March, he was determined Garrard should repair it. Garrard's top silversmith, Rod Hingston, spent three months repairing the damaged trophy, beating out the dents, making new parts, and soldering it all back together. And they did it all for free. The main thing was to, was to, uh, was to bring it back to its former glory, and that was the most important thing to us, and the, and the, and the charge didn't come into it. So, after a 26-hour first-class flight, the cup arrived back in Auckland this morning, and in a few days it's about to embark on another journey.